going to discuss about thalamic lesions. Well, basically, the thalamic lesions are due to the blockage in the thalamogeniculate branch of the posterior cerebral artery. And this artery, when it gets blocked, affects mostly the posteroventral nucleus, which is supplied by this artery. So, we can say that the mostly affected nuclei is the posteroventral nuclei. The thalamic lesions lead to the thalamic syndrome, in which the whole body becomes hypersensitive and the effects of the lesion occur in contralateral side, uh, which is the opposite side. So we can say the lesion is in the right thalamus and the effect is in the left side of the body. Uh, this is just an, exa an example. Well, this contralateral effect is uh, due to the decussation of the fibers carrying the information, which is the sensory information to the thalamus where it is processed. And so due to the lesion, the effect is in the contralateral side. So now we're going to discuss about the symptoms of the thalamic syndrome. And first of all, there is loss of sensation, which is also known as anesthesia. As we know that uh, thalamus is the relay center for the sensation, so lesion of thalamus will lead to the loss of sensation, but obviously there will be hypersensitivity to the pain. The body will show hypersensitivity to the pain. And the next symptom is astereognosis, um, which is actually the inability to recognize known objects with eyes closed and this is due to the loss of tactile and kinesthetic sensations. So the next symptom is ataxia which is in coordination of the voluntary movements and in thalamic syndromes the sensory ataxia is uh, most common as uh, there is loss of kinesthetic sense and then there is thalamic phantom limb. In this sign the patient is unable to locate the position of the limb with his closed eyes so if his eyes are closed he won't be able to locate the limb he will search it in the air or he'll have the illusion that the limb is lost now the third uh, now the fifth one is in nosognosia so this is the lack of awareness of the neurological defect, any general illness or any disability. Like the patient will uh, not be aware of uh, any defect, illness or disability he's got or he will just deny the fact. Now, some other symptoms of thalamic syndrome are spontaneous pain and thalamic overreaction. Overreaction means abnormal reaction to various stimuli. Now, in spontaneous pain, which often occurs in thalamic syndrome, there is hyperalgesia, which is severe pain, and which is uh, felt more acutely than in normal conditions. And then there, the pain uh, is so severe that it even resists the action of the sedatives, like powerful sedatives, morphine. And the threshold of the pain stimulus is reduced and even a slight touch can lead to severe pain. And sometimes the pain occurs even in the absence of the pain stimulus. And these are these um, sensations become worse with in emotional disturbances and in exposure to cold and heat. Uh, the cause of all these overactivity is uh, because the medial mass of nuclear of the thalamus escapes the lesion and it becomes overactive. So the seventh symptom is involuntary movements and in involuntary movements there are ethetosis which is slow writhing and twisting movement and then this chorea which is quick jerky involuntary movement and the intention tremor well in thalamic syndrome tremor is uh, a rapid alternate rhythmic and involuntary movement of flexion and extension in the joints of fingers wrists and elbows 
and these intention tremors occur when the patient uh, uh, you know comes uh, to per, uh, perform some voluntary act and these intention tremors are uh, most commonly a common sign of uh, the thalamic syndrome so the eighth uh, symptom of the thalamic uh, syndrome is thalamic hand and ethetoid or we can say it ethetoid hand so this is the abnormal attitude of hand in thalamic lesion um, the hand uh, shows the abnormalities like flexion and phrenation at wrist flexion at metacarpophalangeal joints and extension at the interphalangeal joints so these were the symptoms of the thalamic syndrome which is caused by the thalamic lesion and now we're going to discuss uh, another syndrome which is not due to the posterior ventral nucleus lesion. This is due to the medial uh, dorsal nucleus lesion. So it's known as a Korsakoff syndrome and uh, it is uh, just a simple one in which we in which the patient is uh, uh, in difficulty to remember the new things and this is due to the lesion of medial dorsal nucleus and this is all for now and the some symptoms uh, some uh, names for the thalamic syndrome i'll be listing them after this video and make sure to see them they're really important because thalamic syndrome can come in its uh, other names too in questions or why bars. So make sure you do that. And thank you. And we'll meet next time with another topic.